Remnant did, who, by the way, spawns in the bottom left-hand corner of the map as the Red Zerg player. He's currently up two games, and he doesn't appear to be producing drones. Defending the seven pool on this occasion is going to be the Blue Protoss spawning in the uh, top right position of Daybreak. He is uh, possibly better known as a caster and an observer, but showing that he is quite a strong player as well, but he needs to turn this result around. Representing FM Esports, we have Pewey. And oh my god, oh my, my Protoss cheese, anti-cheese bells are ringing right now. I'm thinking in my head like, oh my god, I'm gonna get a new you have is he gonna do that? Bills? I thought you just have built it a cheesier than the cheese that you're being attacked with. No man, it's impossible to be more cheesy than a 6 or a 7 pool, so let's see how Pewey's sure gonna do it. Man deal with this he is gonna see the seven pool immediately what is he gonna do is he gonna cancel his uh 13th probe is he, is, he, is he no he's not gonna do that he's not gonna produce another one though so he's gonna stick to 13 probes he is making the forge on the low ground wow that's a that's, pretty baller move that's brave man that's the come at me bro right there oh mm -hmm. my god first six links now out for remnant about 80 percent of the way done and okay where does pewee Put his cannons now. I don't know. I th is he gonna make a full wall off somehow? I'm not really sure what he's planning on doing here. No, but if he wanted to do that, he would he would make the forge like at the ramp, sort of on the he's left. He's got a hand. pylon in his main, so I think that's his preferred way of defending this. There it is, pylon in the main mineral line, gateway well, near the. the sack the forge. When you saw the seven pool, what's the reason for not putting the forge in your main base, also covered by the pylon? Because now he's saying by putting it on the low ground. He's basically saying, "Yes, I've seen the seven pool, but have my forge for free anyway." I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, but you don't have a you don't have a pylon in your main base to place the forge, and the forge would be way too late if you. Oh, but he had one. He had one next to the nexus. He could have placed the forge where the gateway currently is, for example. Wasn't that pylon reactively to the seven pool? I think oh, it was. Okay, it was okay. Yeah, maybe I'm just forgetting the order in which the pylons have gone down. No, you 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 made complete sense there. That would explain. <laughs> it. Yeah. Yep, so that, that forge is going to be a forfeit, unfortunately, for Pewee. No early upgrades going to be coming out. And oh, look at this drone. Looks like Remnant wants to have some fun in this series. Going to be proxying a hatchery, which is, of course, outside Pewee's vision. And, uh, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian's happy. There's so much cheese. No, you're yeah, absolutely right about that point earlier. My apologies for missing that. That pal in the main, of course, wasn't there when he put down the forge. That makes perfect sense now. And Pewee's actually, he's responding relatively well. Since the cannon's gone down in the main base now, he's actually put a cannon or two by the natural as well. And this is really good because that second cannon is actually within range of the ramp. Which means he might be able to get a few shots off on reinforcements there. So he's trying to minimize the damage. Unfortunately for him, he has no idea that Remnant is basically pulling a Famit from I-48 and saying, Hey, you know what I'm going to follow up my early pull with? It's not a Baneling Nest, it's a Hatchful <laughs> base. And he used that to beat Dignitas Bling. So... <laughs> This is so funny, man. This game makes no sense. Remnants pulled like four or five drones with his army. He's going to make spine crawlers like that at the no. game. Oh, In oh the my god. <laughs> uh -oh. This is going to be a funny game. And there's no Cybercore finished up yet for Pewee, so he's not going to produce Stalkers. And Stalkers is, of course, what you need against morphing spine crawlers. Here are the drones. They're in vision of Pewee, so it's no secret that spine crawlers are going to be going up. Three spines get started, and this game is weird. Oh my god. L Lillian, I'm not gonna lie, like, th this must be the worst feeling for Pewee right now. <laughs> but there's no anti-air, he needs a spore, he needs to make at least one spore, or the Mothership Core is gonna kill everything. I think he's gonna realize that in a second. Oh, uh, that would be so amusing if the Mothership Core <laughs> killed everything in this game, man. Oh my god, that's what's gonna ha happen. For he needs a queen from the proxy hatch, and he's getting one now, okay. Yeah, he needs a queen, and preferably a spore as well. The spine crawlers are now going up. Remnant is in a really good position. Got to move his spine crawlers forward to be able to hit the, ne the nexus. Of course, a mothership core doesn't have a lot of damage. Stalker is now out to help. I think Pewee's going to have to go soon, or... Yeah, I, I think he's pretty much lost it already, actually. Uh, the mothership core doesn't do that much damage, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, eight damage per hit of that mothership core. It is shooting six. pretty quickly. There's a lot of... Is it six? Yeah, it's six on spine colors. Oh, of course, on spine crawlers, yeah. And, well, that's just even less, and the Nexus has already lost all of his shields, Lillian, so... There's just really not much it can do at this point. We have a time warp going down, all the probes being pulled, but I don't think it's going to be enough. The Queen 
might even win the fight against the Mothership Courier, and that actually has to retreat as well. GG, and Remnant is going to win this 3-0. to